You want to make 100,000 VC in one hour after the newest patch in 2K21? Stay tuned and watch the full video through. So yeah man, in this video I'm going to show y'all boys two of the best working NBA 2K21 VC glitches and uh, make sure y'all boys watch the whole entire video because there's always that one dude in my comment section who says yo this has been patched. No, it hasn't been patched. There still is one additional step that you guys need to take but you guys can still rack up your VC by doing both of these glitches. Now I'm telling you guys, if you take advantage of them, you guys will get 10k, 20k, even 100k VC and all of your VC you will transfer over to next gen so yeah man make sure y'all boys stack up your vc using these glitches that i'll show you guys so yeah man this first glitch that i'm going to show you is what you guys want to do just go over to play now now once you get to play now just go to blacktop now from here just hit 1v1 and then put your controller on the right hand side just so you guys get the ball first and then go to change roster now from here hit user created roster and then if you're on xbox the very first thing that you guys should see is vc glitch and then if you're on ps4 there's one as well i think it says Stephen and curry vc glitch or something similar to that but whether on xbox or ps4 you know this is going to work the same way and this is the fastest possible way to stack up your vc so you guys want to go ahead and hit vc glitch now once you guys do that it'll just put the um the roster onto your blacktop game and then you guys want to put the like i said put the controller on the right hand side so you guys get the ball first and go ahead and hit events put the game conditions all the way uh, down to five and then once you do that go to the warriors now once you guys get to the warriors make sure you select the worst player on the team first and then what you guys want to do is just choose stephen curry so once you guys do that, go ahead and start this game up. Alright, so once the game loads up, I would advise you guys just go to uh, camera and make sure your camera is on what you want it to be on. Go to options, go to settings, and then put the game difficulty all the way down on rookie. And then also, um, what you guys can do is you can also turn off your shot meter if you guys can time your shot without it. Now the key with this glitch is you guys just want to get the game over with as fast as possible. So you're going to have the ball first, just shoot threes, and then whenever you're on defense, just let the AI, you know, shoot a layup, and that's going to ensure that we get through this game as fast as possible. So yeah, man. All right, so look, once the game is over with, you guys saw you will get your VC. Now, to ensure that you guys can keep doing this over and over again, you can no longer hit rematch. All you guys want to do is close out the application and then reload the game back up. All right. So once the game loads back up, all you guys want to do is do this as fast as possible. So you guys just want to go back to blacktop and then you guys want to hit 1v1, put your controller on the right hand side, change roster, pick uh, the very first one that you guys see, and then it'll just put the roster back onto your blacktop. And then once you do that, you guys, um, once again, just put the game conditions all the way down on five, press advance, go to the Warriors. Uh, pick the worst player first and then you guys want to pick Stephen Curry and then you guys want to go ahead and reload the game So once again, you guys just want to get through this game as fast as possible shoot threes on offense and then on defense Just let the AI go ahead and score All right, so you guys will see you get your VC once again. So again, all you guys would want to do is close out the application and then reload the game back up. Brand new player, and you guys can see that I've already racked up 1100 VC just by doing that twice. So yeah, man, like I'm saying, you guys can rack up your VC. Just make sure you guys close out the application after each game 
just to ensure that you guys do get the most VC possible because like I said, 2K did try to patch it. So yeah, man, now I'm gonna show you guys the second best working VC glitch and I already made a video on it, but a lot of people were trying to tell me that it was patched, but again, they didn't watch the video and they didn't follow all of the steps to actually do the glitch properly to ensure that your VC does that. So with this VC glitch, what you guys wanna do is just go ahead and walk over to the rec center. This glitch might work better if you have a full team of five. If you guys can do that, you might be able to get to the game a little bit quicker because sometimes the matchmaking can be a little bit slow because let's just be honest, this game is kind of dead. Now with this glitch, two things. Um, it does count as an L on your record. If you care about your rec center record, you might not want to do this, but with next gen coming out, who really cares? Also, make sure you guys do this on like a brand new player or a player that you have under a 95. If you do this with a player that you have ranked high at like a 98 or 99, each L that you guys take doing this rec center glitch, you guys will lose overall as well. So yeah, man, keep that in mind. And the key with this glitch is, make sure you guys have somebody that you can join in the neighborhood. So if you guys don't have a friend online, you can always join a friend from the community post. So keep that in mind as well. So yeah, man, what you guys wanna do is join the rec center and wait for the game to start up. A few moments later. All right, so with this glitch, as soon as you guys see somebody get the tip off, all you guys wanna do is just join a friend that you have in the neighborhood. Now, once that happens, if you guys see this screen right here, that's how you guys know the glitch is working, and then you guys will be loaded into the neighborhood that you joined. to show you that the VC will stack. So you guys see I went up, what, another 500 VC for doing absolutely nothing. So once again, as soon as you guys get done with your first rec center game, all you guys wanna do is close out the application and then reload the game back up. If you guys don't do this, you're not gonna get any VC each time that you guys do this. So keep that in mind, close out the application and then reload the game back up.